Hey everybody, welcome to a new game. This is called Little Acre, The Little Acre. And um, it's kind of a, it's a fairly newer adventure game, but uh, I did play through it myself a while ago and it's fun. I don't remember a lot of it, but uh, this will be a nice refresher. Further ado, let's uh, get started here. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Alright, so our first task is to get dressed without waking Morning, Dougal. Lily. Dougal's the dog. Oops. Yoink. Okay, got the stick. Trousers. Huh? Yeah. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Boots, check. <coughs> oh, that stinks. So I had to make the dog's breath bad for some reason. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, but I was still out of reach. So how do I... I should be able to get the trajectory right. That was my cue to sneak out of there. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. Okay. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. all the items to different buttons so you don't accidentally click on something you don't want to click on. Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. Spy gnome. Typical. Dear Aiden, thank you for your application to the position of the repair clerk at Boyle and Sons. I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably have decided not to offer you a position at this time. Wait, wouldn't they be considering him, not... whatever. 
While I do, while I have no doubt that someone with your military engineering experience would be capable to throw the role, I don't think you would be well suited for the more for a more demanding occupation. Perhaps that the new hydroelectric dam with your father. Wish you every success in your future. Strange endeavors. light. Blah blah. Unemployment rates and immigration on the rise. Rumors abound regarding strange lights in the countryside. Oh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. Okay. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with him going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. So the guy that was in the portal, she's probably Nina, and he, the guy with the mustache is probably his father that didn't come back. So I'm guessing the crystals generate the portals. Uh, we'll find out. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet though. It wasn't your average generator. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. Alright, got a pitchfork. The pitchfork wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle budge. Yet another impressive feat of engineering. Now it's a hammer. Well, well, well. That's taken care of. Oh yeah, the guy with the mustache must be his dad. <sighs> dad, where are you? Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. It says H2O. The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. Okay. Guess the first step is put the water in the funnel. There, that should keep it cool. Okay. Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? 
It's glowing. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. The label on the left indicated the electrical resistance of the crystal. Let's set it four. And the weights to set it three. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. Dad left his jacket behind. Sometimes his work would make him forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside. Or eating. Lily left Sir Fuzzlepuff here a while ago with strict instructions to report to her immediately, if he saw her grandfather. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use though. Got a mask. Um, seems like that should do something. Oh, I see. I gotta match them. There we go. Now I can see what's on the wall. Dad had a habit of writing on whatever was nearest at the time. Apparently he found a way to make sure I didn't clean it. He must have wanted to remember that particular pattern, but what for? Uh, to use it? Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. Let's go check it out. So I don't need the jug anymore. Now that the generator's working, I can use the lights in the shed. Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any closer to figuring out what happened to him, but it was the best lead I had. There was a hand-drawn map on the wall with two locations marked. Our house and the hydroelectric dam, where Dad used to work. There was a large machine in the middle of the shed, with what looked like sliding doors. Dad, you better not be stuck in there. appeared to have opened by itself. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration or that it was simply as reliable as the stepladder. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. When in doubt, dance it out. The machine appeared to be waiting for... something. There was a small keyhole in the back. But like many of Dad's devices, its purpose was far from obvious. Hmm. I 
wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. Does, when in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? The secret dance routine turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Inside the box there is a small key where the tasty treat should have been. of the machine. There goes nothing. Looks about the right size. So now we're playing as Lily. Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty. <gasps> okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place a pot over the fire. It's hard to do things when you're tiny. Uh -oh. This is easy peasy. What was Dad worried about? As long as you have a dog to put out the fires that you start, I suppose. him with? I don't have anything to use him with. Dougal was pretty smart, but he didn't know how to put together a breakfast. Uh, Dougal, attack that string! Okay, got the bowl. Hey Dougal, I think someone's at the door, boy. Must have done it. He didn't get me. Okay, now to make the breakfast. Thank you. 
That's one way to do it. I'll get some that way. Wait till I hear I did this all by myself. Ooh. Hang on. Where is Dad? For a moment, I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different, but it was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. He's cheapified. All right, so uh, that's the intro to Little Acre. Now we've traveled to the land that his father traveled to. Uh, lots more questions to be answered and we need to get back so Lily isn't worried that all of her family has been transported into another dimension with no way to get out. So, uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying. It's This is definitely a little different than Pillars of the Earth, and uh, I think it'll make a nice little break for maybe a week or two until uh, we get back to that. And, um, yeah, I think it'll be good. And tomorrow we'll be doing a little bit more Sea of Stars and then uh, more of this on Monday. So check that out, and then more Nights and Bikes on Tuesday, Sea of Stars on Wednesday. We're getting back into the normal swing of things. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and um, hope you're having a great weekend, and we'll catch you next time. Later.